it's more of a Christmassy green. Could go wrong, I'm not too sure. Having an ice cream break. This was actually like a lot quicker to make. Look at them. Look at my Christmas cup. It's a little upside down Christmas tree. I love it. Hey guys, it's Cassia. Welcome back to my channel. As you all know, we're well into December. The Christmas tree is up and just I'm feeling the festive spirit. Today I figured we would crochet something Christmas related because we all know, it's been no secret here on the channel, that I have fallen in love with crocheting and making myself clothes. So I thought it'd be really cute if I crocheted my own Christmas top. Summer right now, if you didn't know that. So crocheting a Christmas like sweater is not really an option it's way too hot no way i could wear a christmas sweater right now figured we could crochet some sort of top or sweater vest and i thought it'd be cute if like i tried to do something like this every single year we can just see the different patterns and how much i improve every single year so this is going to be the 2021 christmas top today's idea is actually something i've seen on instagram i wanted to make something similar to this picture right here i think this is so so stunning obviously all the credit goes to them and i think they actually made this out of really chunky yarn now i couldn't find any chunky yarn anywhere but also i feel like something made with chunky yarn right now in summer would not be optimal <laughs> but i'm just wanting to make something inspired by them but i want to try and crochet the little gingerbread men and i just wanted to make something super simple for my first christmas top also i was stressing about what i should wear on christmas day and i was like maybe i should try and make something so this is what we're going to try to make i'm really excited about this give this video a thumbs up if you are excited about this and also subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss any more crochet videos i also do realistic and chill lifestyle vlogs as well on the channel so make sure to spread the christmas cheer and hit that subscribe button um, and without further ado let's just get into it so here is where i keep my yarns and everything but i've got some yarns in here i've got a bunch of reds here as you can see um i do have this one green here i can use it might be enough otherwise i've got these greens here that are less christmas vibes i feel like these are definitely more christmas colors together like this is more of a christmasy green these yarns are left over from the squid game jacket that i made so i'll link that in the cards if you want to watch that video it was really fun this is a four seasons marvel eight ply yarn and then these are also acrylic yarns but these are from porter craft i think 100 grams of each should be enough possibly i'll need 200 grams of red yeah these are the yarns i will be using all right so the first step i'm going to do is doing the bottom ribbing um, of the top so I'm gonna go on with my green first I think I'm gonna chain 15 because the band on hers is quite large because of the oversized chunky yarn so the band will be about that thick and it'll go across I think that's a good size and I'm gonna start doing double crochets along the back loops only so that it can get some kind of like ribbing in the band i'm gonna make this ribbing go all around my waist usually i would just do like just the front panel and then the back panel and sew them together but i'm gonna try a different method here this could go wrong i'm not too sure i'm gonna make this about 30 40 inches maybe I don't know if I mentioned I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. This is the crochet hook I always use, my favorite hook ever. So I'm gonna keep doing this and I will come back to you once this is done. I'm having an ice cream break, but this is how much i've done so far i think it should i think this should fit around my full waist um but i just obviously want to make it a bit oversized so i'm gonna do a little bit more but we're going good it's probably only been like an hour since i started an hour and a half so yeah i'm having an ice cream break and then we'll keep going <laughs> so update time we have finished the band um, this is about 36 inches um, i have then gone and attached my red yarn and then i've just done a row of single crochets on the top or like the long side of the 
ribbing and now I'm starting on the second row of the red and I'm doing triple crochets this is all in American terms um, so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing I'm just gonna build this up a couple of rows um, until it reaches maybe like here we need to make room for the armholes obviously so I am gonna do a few rows of this hey guys so it's actually been quite a few days since I last updated you I'm back now and I'm here to show you the update um, like I said it's been a few days so it's Friday today the last time I spoke to you I think was Sunday so it's been like almost a whole week this is how far we've gotten to we've pretty much finished the whole front piece now we just have to do the back piece which we've kind of started on and then we're going to attach it all together i've pretty much finished like half of it we still have to make the gingerbread men and we still have to obviously do the final touches to this this was actually like a lot quicker to make than i thought which is why i just hadn't showed you anything i had a day where i went to my friend jasmine's house and we spent like the whole day crocheting which is how i got all of this done i didn't bring my camera so i just like had to stop and be like i've finished half of this without showing you guys so I felt so bad and this was never really meant to be a tutorial it was meant to be a crochet with me unfortunately I forgot to bring you along for a lot of it I will try and explain a little bit about what I did I think the last time I saw you this was kind of just like all like it was just all a rectangle like I hadn't done these bits yet so we'll just pretend this is kind of where we left off and then basically where I wanted to start doing the v-neck I folded the whole project in half so I knew that this was going to be the back and then this was going to be the front and I put a stitch marker here so I knew exactly where the middle was. I halved that so that I knew and then I put a stitch marker there. I knew where the middle of like the front of the top was going to be and that's where the v-neck was going to start. So then once I stitch markered that. I inserted my hook here and just added on more yarn and then I pretty much just went up and decreased until it got to the height that I wanted and I did the exact same on the other side just attached here and then like as I went up I just started decreasing and that's how you create the v-neck. We'll try and link down tutorials as always of how you decrease and how to create a v-neck so that you can actually figure out how I did this. Really, really easy, really simple. Like I said, this was so quick to do. But yeah, so now for the back piece, we're literally just gonna, there's no decreasing, there's no v-neck, so we're literally just gonna crochet my triple crochets up until it reaches the height of this. That's pretty much where we're at right now. I think it's looking pretty good. another update I have fully finished the back it was pretty much just normal rows up until the last two where I decided to add little bits at the end I kind of just measured it out to where these guys at the front ended so that it could all match up kind of like that and I can just sew these two bits together time now to sew the bits together and then we are going to add the green trimming around the collar and then the arms and then it'll be time to make the gingerbread man and attach them i think we could probably get this done all in like today together the top is kind of complete it looks really cute like a really cute crop top um, now we just have to add the green trimming around the edges so I've got my green yarn here I've seen a lot of methods and how to do this but this is just like the easiest way to me I'm literally just going to get my hook just insert it into any place in the sleeve hole literally just like that half double crochets all around the sleeve i'm probably going to do maybe two or three rows depending on how thick i want the like edge to be pretty easy and that's the same method we'll use for the other sleeve and then as well for the collar part as well
So this is where we're at with our gingerbread men. I have finished I finished the outline and I've just added on the white frosting bits. I've got my little pieces here. We've got the little buttons over there and then the eyes. And then we still have to embroider a little mouth. But after that, we are done and we can attach these bad boys to the top. So yeah, that's how this little guy's looking. He looks so cute already. Super unflattering angle, but look at them! They're so cute! And yeah, they're so cute. They took me a lot longer than I thought. The actual constructing of the gingerbread man itself took maybe like 20 minutes, but then adding the little like decorations took a lot longer. But anyway, we are done. The final step is to attach them to the top. So in the picture, the girl had one like here and here. So I'm just gonna attach them, sew them on, and we will be completely done. I can't believe how cute this looks. Also Christmas thing, I've also got my reindeer cup here, my little Christmas sweater, the Christmas tree. This is such a vibe. But ah, this turned out so cute. I'm so, so happy with it. I think it is so, so perfect and so cute. It's just a fun little project to do for Christmas. And I'd love to do a variation of this like every year, like try and make a little Christmas top like this and just change it up every year. It'd be so, so cute, but oh, I'm obsessed with how this looks. The gingerbread men came out so much better than I thought. I'm just really excited about this. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video and you like how this turned out, then please give this video a big thumbs up. That would mean so, so much to me. And also please subscribe to my channel if you guys would like to see more crochet videos from me as well as lifestyle vlogs. That would mean so much. It'd be the perfect Christmas present to me if you would subscribe. And I know that I'm posting this the week of Christmas. So I wanna wish you guys all a very, very Merry Christmas. I hope you have the best day ever so, merry christmas from me thank you guys so much for all your support and your love it means the world and it's the best christmas present i could ever get and i'll see you guys next week merry christmas bye let it snow let it snow